it's kind of changed my life. I'll be honest with you. I've been on a zillion diets before and every single time, except this time, the weight always comes back. You're doing great. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to do this with me. Oh, sure. My, I'm, I'm excited to do it. So my pleasure. I'm glad. I don't know if you speak to everybody in the program, but God, I'm glad to do it. I'm happy to do it. Well, just the ones that are willing. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Great. Perfect. So I just have a few questions. And the big yeah. one being, how has your life changed since you've adopted a starch-based meal plan? Okay. Well, I mean, Besides losing 33 pounds and keeping them off, that's really, really great. The, the biggest item is the fact that I no longer have these enormous and just awful urges to go buy a pint of haagen ice cream or a bag of barbecue potato chips or cookies or any of the other types of foods that I normally used to eat all the time. And it was Rec sometimes it was stress related, but oftentimes it was just recreational eating. So like on Saturday night, when we're sitting there watching, you know, Netflix or whatever the case may be, well, I have my grandkids with me or my wife or other kids or things like that. It's just, let's go to 7-Eleven and let's get some snacks. But that doesn't happen anymore, thankfully, thankfully. So, so that's really good. But the other thing is I've gotten used to, um, you know, just having a, a standard the same breakfast every day, a banana with oatmeal, the banana mashed up with oatmeal. And it lasts me all morning long. No snacking, no this, no that. So the biggest item is that I'm not, I don't have these urges to go out and eat a huge, huge amount of junk food. That's the most important thing. So you alluded a little bit to your, one of your favorite meals, but can you tell us some of your favorite meals? Yeah, well, I'm unusual in the fact that, I mean, my wife does a lot of the cooking, it's true, and she does, you know, she'll not put salt in and stuff like that, but I like very plain and very simple foods. So, for example, today, I, I happen to be going out to lunch with a friend, but normally, if I'm at home, which I normally am, I'll have, you know, baked potatoes with um, a whole bag of green peas, frozen green peas. I know it's a lot but it's really good <laughs> uh, with, you know, I put a bunch of mustard on it, on the green peas and a little bit of ketchup on the, on the baked potato. I might have a salad, but I'll definitely have fruit afterwards for, for dinner, you know, for lunch. And dinner is normally standard things. I mean, my wife will often make chili. I don't, I don't do the dinners at all. She does. So it's either chili or baked potatoes or rice and beans or any, Thing that's real, real, real simple. So nothing, nothing extraordinary, but simple stuff. Nice. Yeah. Like that. Simple is key. That's how we all stay on track. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot tastier too, because I've recently come back from India. And even though the food there had a lot of salt, and whatever, and it was very spicy, I didn't, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just I really was looking forward to getting back to plain sweet potatoes, plain potatoes, no spices, not much of the sauces that, that, you know, that they have over there. So yeah, plain is a lot better, a lot nice. better. So how does your future look different now that your lifestyle is different? Um, well, I, I'm starting a health and fitness blog for senior citizens. So that's really, really exciting. As a matter of fact, the other day I wrote um, an, an uh, the part one of the blog about the McDougal program. I don't know if I need to pass it by you guys to get authorization for it. I don't. Okay, good. Oh, but, but it's an exciting, it's in, in an exciting project because it keeps me going along this, you know, route of being more fit, being healthier, um, staying, you know, at the weight that I am now, I, like I said, I lost 33 pounds. So that's what the future is looking, looking at for me. I, I'm not working so much anymore. So I'm taking a lot of time and doing it, uh, devoting it to the blog and podcast. Great. You look like you have lots of energy. 
I, I yeah, love it. yeah, I do. <laughs> I still do marathons, believe it or not, half marathons, not full ones anymore. But and I still work out every day. So uh, it really, you know, it's kind of changed my life. I'll be honest with you. I've been on a zillion diets before and every single time, except this time, the weight always comes back all, all the time. So, yeah. That's great. It's a lifestyle, yeah. not a diet. Yeah, and lifestyle, not a diet. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. I say that in my blog, by the way. Oh, nice. <laughs> So Norman, is there anything that you want to share with us before we sign off? Yeah, well, you know, the only thing is, and I've spoken to, uh, to um, Tiffany about it, I thought I was going to be the poster child for uh, dramatically reduced blood pressure. And it's still, you know, in the 130s, over 95, 90, 95, so it's still there. They said not to worry, but um, I... I don't know, maybe I should set something up with Dr. Lim again about, you know, seeing what to do. Because you read all these success stories in blogs and on the internet about, you know, people who exercise a lot, they don't eat too much salt, they don't eat, you know, take in oil or dairy or meat or anything like that. And their blood pressure goes down way, way down. Mine, eh, so much. But Whatever it is, what it you is. know what you know what my dad, you know what Dr. McDougall would say that it's just a number and you're doing everything right. Yeah, and, you know, you know the the numbers that you're telling me, it's not something that he would ever medicate or worry about. You know, it's just a number. It's just an indicator. So, right, yeah, yeah, and plus all my blood tests are picture perfect, so it's not, you know. Yeah. What are you gonna yeah. do? Right. I'm just a I'm just a worry wart. What can I tell you? <laughs> well, that might be some of it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've heard. Yes, so I've heard. <laughs> Type A. Right. Oh, I love it. Well, I really appreciate you taking the time to check in with me and just let us know how you're doing. It's great to hear from you. Likewise, Heather. Thanks so much for talking to me. And uh we'll see you soon, hopefully. Yeah. Thanks, Norman. Take care. All right, All right. bye. Bye-bye.